Hey guys, I'm Shredwolf, and welcome back to Let's Play Alien Isolation. We are back on the planet in the past as Marlo, the guy in the prison from the space station, in a spacesuit, finding, I'm guessing, the recording box and potentially the alien. Right now we're still walking through a planet that has the draw distance of about two feet. And we're following people. And we can just walk. We can walk, we can crouch, and that's about all we can do, really. Oh, we, we ha I forgot, we have this directional closeness thing, which doesn't really do too much at the moment, but it'll probably come in more, come in more handy. Yeah, that's good English. Probably come more in handy here in a little bit. Oh, enter the derelict. Oh, shit, there it is. Okay, well, we came up on that pretty quick. Let's fo let's follow Wario and Princess Peach here. And uh, get inside the uh, creepy spaceship. Because, you know, that's a brilliant freaking idea. We got... Blue over there? Who's blue? Toad? I don't know. Tell me a good blue character in the comments so I can give that guy a better name. And we will name him as such. I don't know. Maybe a big, tall, black alien with two mouths that will try to eviscerate us painfully. I'm pretty sure I just heard a little bit of guttural clicking from the alien as well. So success! We're in the right spot to find a giant pace-eating... Face hugging alien. Can't forget about the face huggers. We haven't run into any of those in this game yet. And I can't believe I just said that. Great. I probably jinxed jinx the next episode that we're back playing as Ripley. Awesome. Oh my god. Oh shit. Careful with what hey. you touch. I don't want anything damaged. Welcome to Prometheus. Uh, we found something much worse. Yeah. Have a look around. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Get up here. Get. There we go. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Yeah. Um, around. See what else is here. The reflection kind of messed that up. Tracks. Looks like something was dragged, but that's not all. Lots of boxes here too. Like what is it? The tracks lead here. It's a hole. Yeah. I can see that. Shit. Because no one came back. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Yeah. Monster, heist, check out the cavern below. Locate the distress beacon. Does that mean I go in that hole, or, or where do I go? What is this? I've never seen anything like it. It's not human. I'm telling you that. Obviously. It's... Well, if you've seen the movie uh, Prometheus, they shot a scene here. I can't remember if Alien was here, because... Like I said, I haven't seen Alien in nearly 20 years. Oh. Do we have to go over there? Potentially? Again, the map doesn't tell me anything. Well, let's check it out. Probably not, because they're walking around. Great, I've lost myself. Like Eminem. Mom's spaghetti on the spaceship. God, that sounds like it's going to become a catchphrase. Okay, you keep standing next to this thing. Maybe I just need to walk around at the right angle. God knows the buttons on in this game are finicky as hell. Okay. That's the cavern below. 
up, 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 up. There we go. Where are you guys going? Alright, the objective is find the source of the signal, locate the distress beacon. Where the hell is the distress beacon? This thing is not helping at all. In fact, it's doing the opposite of helping. Do I have to go down this hole? No. You can't hear. I'm furiously clicking buttons trying to get something to work. Alright, tell you what. We will come back when I find out where the hell I'm supposed to hit the A button to make something happen. See you in a few minutes, guys. So, guys, it appears I was a bit of an idiot, and it was down one of these hallways. Although nobody really says anything, and the beacon sensor thing, whatever this left-right bumper thing is, this thing, is crap. But we got here. We found it. It is new. Very foggy in here. All right. Oh, -ho. creepy lights. Meeks. Oh, -ho. The beacon. I'm gonna check it out. This thing is the beacon. That's the distress beacon. That thing's huge. Shut down beacon. Why do I feel like this is a bad idea? This like, just looks like a bad idea. This is a bad time. Oh well, looks like we have to do it. Oh, that's bad. Evidently, what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. Evidently, I need to go back and watch the alien movies. On my way. Return to the winch. Okay, I think the winch is above that hole that we kept looking at, and trying to jump down before. Which is where we're gonna go down and find all the eggs with the face huggers and body snatchers and chest bursters and Xenomorphs and all the fun, creepy, crawly things that are going to eviscerate us. That's the word of this Let's Play. Eviscerate. It's a very good word. And man, this is just drawn the hell out. Is there more fog in here? And let's also not mention the creepy, angelic ah, music that's been going on. All right, well, they fix this stuff up. This place just keeps on giving. Here, strap yourself in. Can I talk to you for that? Or just, ah, use winch, there we go. And down we go. A good thumbs up, and let's head down. Oh, because that's not creepy at all. Can I look down and around? Can't really look too many directions. My view's more or less locked in. Lots of stalactites and stalagmites. Oh, gravy. Look at all those eggs. Oh, my God. Look at all those aliens. See, this was a bad idea in the movie. This is a bad idea now. Ugh. How is their gut reaction not just get the hell out? This is just a bad, bad, terrible idea. Oh, and there goes the cutscene. Bad things are happening. 
gonna latch onto your face. Don't do it. Don't do it. There it goes. We all knew that was gonna happen. We knew it was gonna happen. There's not a single person watching this that was surprised. I want to know more. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Oh, fuck not off, Marlo. Marlo. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait, asshole. My board in the text by just lit up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need. Is it the flamethrower? It's the flamethrower. Yeah, give me the flamethrower. Give me the flamey thrower. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Let's not worry about the fact that this, th that this thing looks like it's going to electrocute Let's hope us. This thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. Well, we have oh, already right. seen it retreat from fire, so I'll, that's one of the few things I'll agree with weights on. Okay, I have 500 ammo for the flamethrower. I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet We're gonna Ricardo and collect some stuff fire. first. Tomato I'll ketchup. From here. Go to Lorenz Sistex Spire. We're gonna. Load up on some supplies real quick first. Like ID tags. And boxes. And other things. Yeah, we're going to load up on stuff and then we're going to save. And uh, that's going to wrap us up for today. SCJ injector. Access terminal. First trap gone. Oh. Okay. So with the big explosion that technically saved our lives was the trap weight set earlier. Okay. Good to know. Arrest sheets. Marlo. Mike Tanaka. Robert Wester. Interesting. <laughs> Marlo is on indefinite art incarceration with no crime number. Arrested and held without charges. Pretty sure that's illegal. Ooh, let's go check out Taylor real quick. You gonna live? Well, she's moving. So that means she's not dead. Not dead means moving, right? Or moving means not dead. One of the two. Old spacesuits. Is there anything on this table I can use? Ooh, there is a big ol' quarter. We should talk about what happened in San Cristobal. Oh, it's a big now, space it station. A nasty business, and I understand that you want to deal with it as quietly and quickly as possible. But I wanted to make sure you didn't do anything rash. Uh oh. I'm talking about catching the specimen. We'll okay, who is this? If we play it smart, we are not so catching this thing live. I no, 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 no. I can set it up. You're getting old, Waits. You can't do this forever. And what are you going to do when Sebastopol closes? You have my number. This guy sounds... I think this was like the sales guy or something. Alright. Impounded. Oh. Level 3 plasma shear. Flight recorder. Watch wallet. Personal effects. Suspend. Suspected contraband medical supplies. Some kind of parasite. Wait. It's Dr. Lingard. I've just examined a patient with... Well... Never seen anything like it. Oh ho! Oh, it's the parasite. face hugger. I did a quick check on the name they gave me, and there's no one registered under it at Sevastopol. I think she came on board recently. Do you know anything about this? Yeah, no, sure we do. We just kind of let an alien on board. Who knows what else they've let through? The patient and her captain are waiting for me in the examination room. Get down here now. Yeah, that didn't go well. I can tell you from here. All right, let's save up real quick. Hostel's nearby. Oh, that's a bad sign. Well, we'll figure out what the nearby hostile hostiles are next episode. You guys know the drill. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the rather boring walking simulator portion. And uh, 
If you haven't yet, get subscribed so you can catch these as they come out every dang day. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later, guys.